Hello guys, welcome back to another Japanese convenience store food haul. Today we're going to be trying out some winter items from our local family mart. Welcome back guys. If you didn't know already, Family Mart is one of the three big convenience stores here in Japan. If you're visiting here, make sure to visit one of these stores because I guarantee you will find something that you like. If this is your first time and you enjoy these kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so you get notified every time we release a new video or a live stream. Just like in previous videos, we've chosen five items each to create a complete meal. Let's get started. So, the first one is beer. Always beer. <laughs> Always, <laughs> beer. Always beer. Right, now is this a winter specific beer? Yes, it's named Fuyumonogatari. Winter Story. Winter Story. Okay, that's a really romantic name for romantic beer. Name, yes. The design of this can is snowflakes. Ah, it's beautiful. I think it's a very wintry design. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The can says it's rich and mild taste. What did you get? Well, I got some hot tea actually. I got the chai tea latte from Gogo no Kocha, which is a tea series here in Japan. And it's one of my favorite tea brands or tea series. I really know what you call it, series brand. And th this is hot, the can is hot, so it's really, really difficult to um, hold. But I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna pour it into my glass mug so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so let's begin this feast. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu. Kanpai. Kanpai. Cheers! <laughs> Oh, that is comforting. Mm. Oh, I can taste a little bit sweetness. Some really? kind of sweetness. This can says it's rich and mild. It's exactly like that. Really? Mm. Really? Rich and mild taste. Yeah? Mm. Is it good? Very good. Yeah. Well, you know, my chai tea latte is delicious. There's another brand that I drink, you know, during the winter. Mm -hmm. And that brand, I can't remember what that brand was, but uh, it's more like a generic brand. That one has a more gingery taste. But this one, I can definitely taste more spices, a variety of spices oh. in this one. Mm. Like ginger, cloves, and cinnamon, cardamom. I can taste all of the spices. So yeah. on to the food. My appetizer is tofu nabe. Interesting, I've never seen that before. This is not only hot tofu, you can also make yuba. Yuba. Oh, I see. If you guys didn't know, yuba is tofu skin. It's that film that develops on the surface of the soy milk when you're boiling the soy milk to make tofu. We ate a lot of that yuba in Nikko in a previous video, Nikko. So if you guys missed that video, don't forget to check that out. Check it out. Let's tear this package and pour the soy milk inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's first pour out the soy milk yes, out of it's the very container. thick. Very thick soy milk. Yeah. Tear off the another film, put the tofu inside. Alright, that's so interesting. That looks like a really thick milk, like thick soy milk. Yes. So after we heat this up in the microwave, mm -hmm. we're gonna have some yuba developing on the surface. Right. right. That's very interesting. All right, let's do that. Let's make it. Wow, look at that film develop on the surface. Yeah. That is the yuba. yuba. Yes. Yeah. Let's scoop up. All right. This is my chopstick. Wow, mm. check that out. Yeah, that is a perfect yuba. Yeah. That looks so good. Yes. You know, I, I'm like a huge fan of Yuba now, you know, ever since that trip to Nico. Love Yuba. Let's pour sauce. Okay, yeah, so sauce. this sauce comes with the tofu, mm -hmm. right? Scoop the tofu. Okay. Oh, it's really thick tofu. Yeah, Ooh. it looks really soft. Oh. It's like a soft tofu. Mm -hmm. Let's try Yuba. 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 Itadakimasu. Wow, that looks good. That looks so good. Mm, so smooth. Really? Rich soybean taste. Really? Mm, wow. Really so it's nice. like really good quality. Good quality. Okay, try the tofu. Yeah. Yes. Look at that. It looks mm, so really smooth. Smooth. Mm. This tofu has a rich soybean flavor. <laughs> Mm. For me, this is like really good soft tofu yeah, 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 in yeah. a soybean soup. Mm. I mean, that's how good it is. It, mm. it's, it's not flavorless. I mean, there's a lot of flavor mm -hmm. in this sauce. And that sauce makes that, 
that liquid part like soup. Mm -hmm. This is what I got for my appetizer. It's not as complex as yours. Mine is a really simple one. Mm -hmm. I got the shrimp and broccoli salad. You know, I, I, I got this because I thought, it, you know, it was, it was a small portion and it was the perfect portion for a, you know, light appetizer. Yeah, let's open this up. Okay, so there are some shrimp mm -hmm, on the top. Mm -hmm. I think there are like three pieces of shrimp. Mm -hmm. They're pretty small size, but they look pretty good. And it's sprinkled with some boiled egg and there are some broccoli in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm. Nice taste. The broccoli is fresh. Oh, really? It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. the, it still retains a little bit crispiness. Mm -hmm. How about the shrimp? We're gonna try that now. Mmm. Shrimp is fresh too. Really? Fresh shrimp. <gasps> Petito. 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 Yeah. It has, you know, that shrimp, that, 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 you know, nice texture. Pretty, pretty, bouncy texture. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of boiled mm -hmm. egg. Um, mixed throughout the salad, mm. so you mm. also get that egg taste as well. Mm. For my main meal for today is Nankotsu Iri Tori Tsukune no Chanko Nabe. Yes, it's written in Japanese. Mm -hmm. Chanko Nabe is a sumo wrestler's hot pot. Mm. I don't remember the last time I had a Chanko Nabe. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's been over 10 years. So this one, it says we heat up in the microwave. After that, it should be ready to be eaten. Okay, so... <clears throat> Check it out guys, Ooh. it turned into a proper hot pot, well not really a hot pot, but it turned into a proper soupy dish. And this is what a chanko nabe looks like, well a miniature version of a chanko nabe. <laughs> okay, so we have, so that is the tsukune or the chicken meatball, that's the, the chicken. chicken. And tofu, bami cherry, and this soup looks really delicious, meatball. Mm. Chicken meatball, tsukune. Mm. How is it? Mm. <laughs> that looks so warm mm. on a cold winter's yeah. night. Yeah. Big chunk of chicken meat. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Good. Tender. Tender. Mm. The smell is irresistible from here. Yeah. It smells so good. Mm. Mm. Good? Mm. Good to dashi taste. Oh, mm. chicken stock. Oh yeah. It's not too salty. Um, I think I think even the the taste from the vegetables and the chicken is already inside the stock. Yes, so yes, it's yes, yes, really yes. delicious. Mm. So for my second course, I got something called the spiced butter chicken curry pie. Curry pie made with coconut milk. Ooh. Right. You know, this is the first time I saw this um, at our convenience store. So this must be something new. I don't remember seeing this last mm. year. But um, this is a puff pie soup, I guess. And um, let's check it out. Um, open it up and there is a crust of puff pastry on the top. And um, I'm not gonna touch it because it says I have to microwave this for two minutes in the microwave oven. And then I can open it. So let's do that. Okay, so this is hot out of the oven, the microwave oven and the top has sunk down a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's fully enclosed in this puff pastry case. So I'm gonna um, cut it open with my spoon. Looks really hot. And you know what, it smells amazing. I can smell the spices. Oh, check that out guys. That is curry. The chicken curry, yeah. Oh, chicken curry. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I want to get some of that puff pastry with that curry. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Itadakimasu. Oh, kind of like in between Japanese curry and Indian curry. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, it smelled like Indian curry to me. Okay, that's a big chunk of chicken here. Mm -hmm. It's not chicken, it's a potato. <laughs> I'm getting everything wrong here. Okay, I, I think that's a chicken. Mm. Chicken. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Okay, here, I got some pie here with the curry. Mm. Yeah, it's pie. pretty flaky. Mm -hmm. Let me just have the pie. The pie is good, it's flaky. Mm. It, it's just a normal puff pastry. Mm. Nothing special about the puff pastry. Nice curry. Right? The curry mm. is really mm. good. Mm. This is not like a big serving. 
So this is perfect because I have another dish to share with you guys. And one more part of my meal is rice bowl. In Japanese, it's called onigiri. onigiri. Today, I chose okina benishake harami. It's a salmon. The meat comes from the near the stomach area. Oh, I see. So this is the, the type of onigiri where the nori is already wrapped around yeah. the rice ball. Mm -hmm. So need to no need to fuss around with the nori. Look, there are salmon pieces in it. All right. Yeah. So let's break it apart. And I will show you what's inside is. Look. Wow. Whoa. That big is piece. like a big chunk of salmon. Yeah, big piece of salmon. Yeah, so that is salted salmon, guys. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Nice salmon taste. Yeah. Just the right saltiness. I thought the halami part, the stomach part is more fatty, mm -hmm. but this is not so fatty. Salmon taste is really nice. Let me show you what I got next, guys. This is actually my main course of the day, and I had to get this because I've never seen this at any convenience store here in Japan. This is lasagna. Lasagna. I've never seen lasagna in a Japanese convenience store, and this is a tomato cream sauce lasagna, and yeah, had to get it. I had to get it. So I'm gonna microwave this and I'll be right back. Check it out guys. So there's some meat sauce on top. There's melted cheese all over. There are some broccoli bits and some chopped parsley, I think. So I'm gonna cut into this and see what it looks like. Oh man, I have not had lasagna in a long time. Okay, so those are the lasagna noodles, I think. I hope. Right now, it looks like American cheese slices to me, but I'm hoping it's not American cheese slices. Let's give it a go. All right, Takimas. You really like lasagna. Hmm. Oh yeah. Actually, that's really good. It's not like those really thick lasagna that you see in America. It's the thinner type. There are exactly four layers of noodles in oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. Right? But there is no cheese on the inside. The cheese is only on the top and the meat sauce is only on the top as well. So basically ah. it's just <laughs> noodles layered with sauce, topped with cheese, mm. uh, the meat sauce, and that's it. So um, it's a different type of lasagna. You know, um, it, it's not like the American lasagna, but it's good. It's good. Let's go on to the dessert. The best part of the meal. Today I chose Cream taiyaki custard. Oh, yes. Right. Taiyaki. Do you know taiyaki? It's a pancake style cake, the shape like a fish. Yeah, tai means red snapper. And this is a very traditional Japanese style mm -hmm, of uh, mm -hmm. dessert or snack. Mm -hmm. So, this is for those of you who want to try, you know, a traditional Japanese sweet, but you don't really care for red bean paste. Maybe try this one with mm -hmm. the custard. Mm -hmm. And you can eat as it is. The package says you can warm it up. Oh, wow. Okay, so you wanna do that? Yes. All right. I warmed it up just 20 seconds in the microwave. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So it's not so hot. I can touch, I can touch. Mm -hmm. Let's break it apart. Mm. Oh. Yeah, custard cream. Wow, look mm. at that. That looks delicious. Yeah. Oh my God. This cake part is mochi, squishy. Mochi mochi. Do you want to eat half? Of course I do. <laughs> Thank you. That's really good custard. Mm. But this kind of this is shocking because it's kind of sticky. Like the like the batter part, the pancake part. Yes. Is sticky. Yes. It it said mochi is The texture is mochi mochi squishy. I, I see. Mm. So there must be like. Mochi flour or something I think in so. here? I think so. Hmm. Mm. Oh, I was not expecting yeah. that. I like how unexpected and different this is. I also like how it's not that sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Last thing we have today is my dessert. And this is a pudding parfait. And Japanese pudding is basically a Japanese version of flan or uh, custard. And check it out, guys. That pudding is on the top and it's surrounded by whipped cream and there is it's an, and it's a layered dessert on the bottom there is sponge cake there's also some custard there's some jelly Do i'm not sure what kind of jelly? jelly maybe it's coffee jelly um, and there's more custard on the bottom mm. i think 
go in with my spoon. I think I'm just gonna try the custard part first. Yeah, let's try the custard on its own. Thank you, guys. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. For some reason, I was expecting a cheap tasting pudding. <laughs> it's actually not. This is proper. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really? made with oh. egg. You can actually taste mm, the egg. It looks very really thick. Yeah, yeah. But for some reason, because it was from the convenience store, I was expecting like the cheaper, mm. you know, the, the, the one where they, they add gelatin mm -hmm, to make it, you mm -hmm. know, but it's the, real. Uh, Japanese pudding is always bouncy. Yeah. It, like pudding, pudding, pudding. It is. Mm. Yeah. yeah. This, this is not, this is thick. Yes, yes. Well, it, it is a little bit bouncy. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go deeper into this dessert, shall we? So I'm gonna go in and try to get some of the other uh, components of this dessert. So check it out guys, you see, there. I think that's more um, of that pudding. I, I think that's the same pudding, and then there's jello, there's whipped cream, that's sponge cake, and there's more custard on the bottom, which I can't reach. I'll get to that later. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. That jelly is not coffee. No, that, that is coffee. actually mm. caramel jelly. Caramel, caramel jelly. Caramel jelly. Mm. Ah, caramel I gelatin. See. I oh, see. Oh, that's delicious. Is that the same taste of the top of that spring? A little bit different. Mm. It's a lighter caramel flavor. Oh. And I'm gonna get the, the last layer. Mm. Last layer is not custard. The last layer is actually more of that pudding. Oh! Mm. It's mm. more. Yeah. Oh, this is good. This, this is just like, I mean, if you guys like flan, you'll love this dessert. This is like flan, sponge cake, flan, caramel, gelatin, and more flan. That's what it essentially is. All right, guys, so it is time for us to decide what was our favorite. I choose tofu. The tofu. Hot pot. Oh, yes. really? This is good concept. Yeah, this is also good. And I'm having such a hard time choosing just one. I'm gonna choose that puff pastry mm -hmm. butter curry. Mm -hmm. um, this was actually amazing to me. This was restaurant quality. I can imagine eating this at a proper restaurant. I love that you can buy this at the convenience store mm -hmm. and I love how fancy it is. I really enjoy this concept too. Me too. So hope you guys enjoyed today's convenience store video. Please let us know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. And for more convenience store videos like this one, make sure to check out our playlist by clicking right above Satoshi's head. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye.